The latest in a serious onslaught of Pacific storms is ravaging Southern California tonight. Good evening and good morning. of WeatherScope is sponsored by Midas Auto Systems Experts. What can we do for you today? This is WeatherScope. Good morning. Thanks for joining us here at the Weather Channel. Mark Van Cusa, Vivian Brown with you. And we've been looking at storm after storm mm -hmm. through the south up to the northeast. Mm -hmm. And I tell you, I've had very little opportunity to wash the car. Normally the car is white, but it's now a, a, a beige tint, really? and it looks like a couple of nice dry days mm -hmm. coming into the south. So maybe it's that time to get out and wash the car. Oh yes, a beautiful day for that all across the south from Miami to New Orleans, Atlanta. So yeah, a good idea. Compliments of Mark Mancusa. You know, I wash your car sometime today. Here's a look at our satellite picture, which shows we do have fair skies across most of the southeast. And again, a beautiful day is shaping up. You could not ask for better weather conditions in mid and late February, could you, with highs in the 70s? I don't think so. We're forecasting a high today, about 64 Atlanta, but about 71 in New Orleans, 74 in Houston, and 74 with sunny conditions, Miami. Of course, the storm that uh, wrecked havoc across southern Florida on Sunday has moved north along the coast, and we still have problems with this storm as it's pulling in moisture from the Atlantic, and it's drawing in some of that uh, moisture into very cold air, and we have reports of snow in the higher terrain, and snow could be locally heavy. The mountains of Pennsylvania, the green, the white mountains of Vermont and New Hampshire, the big cities along the coast we think will just primarily be rain, but it will be very windy too. Just a raw day, unfortunately, shaping up for the big cities, Beantown, New York, Philly, and we even have rain this morning in our nation's capital. Improvements are expected as we go through the day, though, from south to north as our main system lifts off to the Maritimes of Canada. We're watching dry conditions, the nation's midsection. Oklahoma City looking good today. Omaha, a weaker surface trough swinging across the Great Lakes with some light rain showers passing through the Chicago area perhaps today. And you can see our next storm over the southwest. Extensive clouds, rightfully so. We've been watching the system locally heavy rain already in Southern California. It'll spread into Arizona with very heavy snow in the mountains. Let's check on the regions. We'll begin with the northeast. 
uh, still quite early this morning. It's about 5.46 Eastern Time, and we have the wet conditions to start off this Fat Tuesday. You can see how things are wrapping around our area of low pressure, of course, in a counterclockwise fashion. This is pretty much the southern end of the precipitation. Our center of low pressure is a little farther to the north and east, but you can see how this is basically dragging down, pushing to the south. From D.C. and Baltimore, Richmond, we have the passing showers in the area. And changing over to a little bit of the light snow now as you head into the mountains here of Pennsylvania. It is just raw this morning from New York City to Hartford, Boston, the inner, the outer loops, just really messy. So if you are one of the ones you have to get up and get out quite early this morning, please allow extra time. It is a rough commute into work this morning. Gale advisories have been issued. We also have coastal flood advisories and uh, heavy surf advisories still in effect for uh, the coast here of Maryland down to Virginia. So our low pressure off the coast still causing problems. Temperatures right now, well, it's 37 Boston, 40 in New York, but you can see the colder air over the interior regions with temperatures just hovering around freezing. Albany, Elmira, Rochester checking in with 33 this hour. Quite warm over the Midwest. Now Chicago already 43 degrees, 38 in Green Bay. Marquette, you're checking in with 33. And quite mild, Minneapolis 33. That's warmer than the afternoon high should be this time of year. We've had a few passing lighter showers near New Orleans and around Muskegon, Michigan here, near Chicago and around Muskegon, Michigan, ahead of the surface trough, but uh, nothing too heavy, just a light shower passing through. There you see your high pressure over the deep south. Beautiful day, Atlanta, you're starting off this Tuesday with 42, and New Orleans, you're checking in with 46. Out west, again, here is our storm. It's already bringing the rain this morning. Southern California, Los Angeles, it's wet. Be careful. Pacific Coast Highway, we had reports of sections of the Pacific Coast Highway closed yesterday because of the head heavy flooding. We've had reports of mudslides and the snow. It's been locally heavy, too, in the mountains just outside of L.A. So here's the big picture. The wet stands right now. Quiet for much of the Pacific Northwest. Our storm over the Southwest and our storm over New England. Let's check on the forecast and see how these systems will uh, change over the next 24 hours. And with all the details, here's Mark. All right, thank you, Vivian. And as we take you through the day today, the storm in the Northeast will be a slow mover. That means a lot of rain and a lot of wind on the coast and in the interior, we'll be looking at snows. And this storm is uh, uh, highly dependent upon uh, elevation here to, for snow. So from the mountains of PA to Southeast New York and into central and northern New England, should do pretty good if you are a snow lover and a ski enthusiast. Pretty windy though, and winds will be gusting 30, 40 miles an hour at times. A very windy day in the big city, the Big Apple. Across the south, in contrast, a, a, a starry night and a nice, uh, bright, beautiful day with decreasing winds. Very pleasant and spring-like, a, a gorgeous day. To the west, storm rages through the southwest and we are looking for heavy rains and heavy snows in Los Angeles County early this morning. Heavy snow warning above 5,000 feet outside of L.A. up in the mountains. Speaking of the mountains, look at how they get plastered here. The Catskills, southern Adirondacks, and into the southern greens and into the White Mountains. Looking at a good six inches plus. But on the coast, it will be rainy and windy. Flood watches are out in southeastern New England here. Temperatures today uh, still looking very tang for this time of year and very spring-like across the south. Closing in on the northeast for you, windy and wet in Boston, 39 degrees. Head west down the Mass Pike, get west of I-495 there, you will encounter snow. And then as you head your way south on I-95, very heavy rains as you move your way down the Connecticut Turnpike here, very soggy and windy and wet on the main line and even some wet snowflakes mixing in around D.C. Across the southeast, decreasing winds and increasing temperatures and kind of dreary in Indiana and Michigan. It's out there waiting. And in all our years of experience, we've learned one thing. You're not the only one who depends on good brakes. 
upfront pricing at Midas, we first perform a 45-point inspection to find what repairs are needed and what can wait. So you only pay what we quote you. Come into Midas today because you never know what you might run into next. There are some people who prefer to be left in the dark. But if you prefer the light,